ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನಾನು ಮನಿಭೂಷಣ್ ಡಿಸೋಜ ನಾವು ಲೈನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎನ್ವಾರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಕಲಿಯುತ್ತಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಇಂದು ನಾವು ಸೆಷನ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಇದನ್ನು ನೋಡಲಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಫೈಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಲಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸಿ ದಿ ಸೆಂಟಾಕ್ಸಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಲ್ ಸೀಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಕಾಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಿ topics that are discussed over here you must have the basic knowledge of the unix file system the learning objective for this particular session is to understand the file and record locking let's look at uh, what's the difference between file locking and record locking file locking means we don't allow others to use the file that means the file entire file is locked so nobody can use the content within the file suppose if you have a file let's assume that this is a file file locking means uh, nobody can read or nobody can write into the file record locking is slightly different now this files may contain some data now let me assume that this is uh, one record and there is the other record and there may be other record and so on so forth so record locking means the entire file is not locked one particular record is being locked the others are free to be used by the other so it is the capability that prevents the other process from reading or writing a particular record in particular some part of the file which are in between the byte offset when we try to read or write to a particular file the offset within the file changes now suppose let's assume that you have a file which is a, i'm going to represent a file like this so this is the starting location of the file so let us assume that um, this is the zeroth location and uh, the file is very lengthy let me show it in red so let's assume that this is 100 byte file so when you try to open the file the read position will be here right at the zeroth location when you read the first byte of the file let's say the read position will shift to this location once you read the next byte the read position will go to the next so if you are sequentially reading one one block at a time then the position within this uh, particular file that is the reading position will keep on increasing now this is called as an offset offset is the distance from the starting location so the offset can be changed in general when we read a file in uh, sequential access we usually the offset of the file keeps on increasing with a constant amount but sometime we may want to read randomly from different location of the file so sometime we may want to read it from here from here from here and so on in other words we may want to adjust the position randomly in order to achieve that thing we use the l seek system call so what does uh, the lseek system call will do so lseek will position the pointer at a random location the position that wherever we say whichever offset we specify we can randomly place the position within a particular offset so the syntax for lseek is as follows in order to use the file we need a file descriptor and then we need to specify the offset 
the offset e is um, i have already told you the distance how much distance it has to be moved the reference is with respect to what with respect to the beginning of the file do you want to move it or with respect to the end of the file that is you are reading it from here or from here or with respect to your current position suppose if you are here with respect to the current position so the reference can be three values will be there so either you can start from the beginning of the file or from the current location within the file or from the end of the file this lsec will return the position within the file system from where either the read or write operations will be performed there is a usual confusion between seek and lsec what's the difference between seek and lsec now there is a subtle difference between these two things so lsec that we are talking about is not with respect to the physical movement of the disk arm it is just within the table structure so if you look at this file as a logical structure lsec is only trying to move the position it is not with respect to the disk suppose if you look at uh, the disk structure then you know very well there is a disk arm that randomly moves from one location to the other so that is the one that reads the content it's not the movement of the disk arm which is reading the content of the disk seek refers to the movement of the disk arm it's actually a physical movement whereas lc it is just a movement within the file table that's all once we have used the file we need to close the file so that's a really very important so that the others can make use of the file the system call that is used to close the file is the close and we need to specify the file descriptor that was used while opening the file okay how does the close operation is performed we have to understand this particular thing suppose if the file is being referred by only one person that is the last reference then the file will be closed so when you try to call the uh, close system call the file will be completely closed however if the file is being by more than one process then the close operation will reduce the count by one so if three people were using before close call so if you make a close call the count number of process that are using this file will be two again if you call the number of process will be one again if you call that means nobody is using in this case the kernel will physically close the file and deallocate all the resources that are being used okay so if the reference count for a particular file is one okay kernel frees the entry and uh, releases the in core inode which was originally used while opening the file okay if the other processes are we using that means to say that if the count is more than 1 okay in that case kernel will only decrement the reference count and leaves the allocation so it will not uh, deallocate the deallocation will only take when the reference count is 1 and decrementing it becomes a 0 okay also you must understand that whenever we try to call the close system call the user file descriptor entry is empty then it will deallocate it otherwise the kernel will examine its active user file descriptor 
and uh, internally closes uh, all the files which are being used up. That's all in this session. Thank you for your interest. We will meet again in the next class. Thank you.